Be vegan. Make peace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. So we also got rid of um, a lot of the invasive uh, animal laboratories uh, in the veterinary curriculum and we introduced humane alternatives. So, so that was all fantastic. Supreme Master Ching Hai joyfully presents the Shining World Compassion Award to Professor Andrew Knight, plus $10,000 US dollar as a humble token of supporting the research, with all love and high salute for your precious work. May you enjoy continued success and constant protection by heaven. Professor Andrew Knight, Vegan, Part 104, The Plant-Based, Healthiest Diet for Our Animal Companions. Continue watching to find out more. Salve, this is Marzia. I just said hello in Italian, the official language of San Marino. The relaxed people of this heavenly little country, San Marino, Pray for peace amongst all Earth's citizens, including our beloved animal co-inhabitants. May we all live with love and gratitude in our hearts. Welcome to part one of today's show, Professor Andrew Knight, Vegan, the plant-based healthiest diet for our animal companions. Our four-part show will feature just some of the many accomplishments of Professor Andrew Knight, who has played a major role in bringing forward the humane curriculum in veterinarian training and the research conducted to educate people on how our animal companions can thrive on a plant-based diet. Professor Knight's vegan journey started off unlike most vegans. When I was 23, I was trying to impress a certain young lady that I was dating uh, about how e ethical my lifestyle was. And so I decided to go vegan in the hope that that would, that would help. Um, and, uh, you know, 23 years later, we're still really good friends. Uh, we're still both vegan. Um, and it was a very good choice. So, so that's how I became vegan. At 23 years old, Andrew found himself on a new path of compassion when he joined an activist group that campaigned against Australia's live sheep trade. It was the exposure to the way these docile animals are treated that made him decide to be a veterinarian. I'm originally from Perth and of course that's the world capital of the live sheep trade so I spent um, uh, a lot of time in the late 1990s helping to really get that campaign up and running um, and I found it so inspiring actually to be doing something with my time that, that I felt was really significant and making a, a difference to large numbers potentially millions of sentient creatures that I thought how do I set myself up so that I can get a career Uh, being involved in these sorts of issues uh, with the ability to really make a difference. And so I, I thought about it strategically and thought, well, I should pick a profession where I'll be able to uh, make a difference. And I thought, you know, I could, I could try to be, become a lawyer or an environmental scientist or a doctor or something. I decided to, to try to become a veterinarian. So uh, I went back to uh, school, studied really hard uh, for you know, a year, uh, got into the veterinary course at West Australia's Murdoch University, um, completed the course, nearly didn't complete the course because I got sidetracked into a massive campaign um, about uh, using humane alternatives to harming animals in the veterinary curriculum. At the university, Andrew found the curriculum of sacrificing animals too hard to bear and refused to kill animals while practicing his surgical and preclinical training. He united with students at the University of Sydney and other universities internationally for a campaign demanding a change to the system. In my particular case, I had to initiate legal action against the university and wow. um, we, got, we got mainstream uh, media coverage um, nationwide TV coverage at the time of what was going on at the university. So 
Um, the amount of time that this took nearly resulted in me failing the veterinary degree. Fortunately, Professor Andrew got to complete his vet education at Murdoch University. But more importantly, Andrew's campaign succeeded. And in doing so, he ultimately helped establish alternatives to invasive animal use, including an alternative surgical program focused on neutering shelter animals. We set up uh, the first formal policy at an Australian university whereby the university agreed to provide students with humane alternatives to ha a harmful animal usage within their curricula. And that policy was considered quite groundbreaking. So we also got rid of um, a lot of the invasive uh, animal laboratories uh, in the veterinary curriculum and we introduced humane alternatives. So, so that was all fantastic and that process has continued uh, since then and is still going on today. Thanks to Professor Knight, ever since then, Murdoch University has made an effort to provide alternative programs for students who have conscientiously held beliefs. This humane alternatives curriculum was proved so successful that it became mainstreamed into Murdoch's curriculum as well as requested by other universities in Australia and internationally. Thus, similar changes were introduced within other Australian and international courses. These campaigns are continuing today, also right across the US and various European countries. After finishing veterinary schooling, Professor Knight went on to work for animal advocacy organizations and started to conduct studies into areas of invasive animal research and looking at the actual benefits that had been provided to public healthcare and related topics. These series formed the basis of his PhD, juggling between his paid and volunteer work Professor Knight graduated as a Doctor of Philosophy from Griffith University and in 2011 published his work, The Costs and Benefits of Animal Experiments. Professor Knight went on working in a small animal veterinary practice in the UK until 2012, when he then began a media tour throughout Peru visiting all the veterinarian schools, introducing his non-invasive use of animals program that he created at Murdoch University. In 2013, Professor Knight served as Associate Professor of Welfare and Ethics and Director of Clinical Skills Laboratory at Ross University School of Veterinary Medicine in the Caribbean, which is considered one of the world's largest veterinary schools. In 2015, Professor Knight was appointed the Professor and Founding Director of Animal Welfare and Ethics at the University of Winchester in the United Kingdom. The centre is developing and becoming an exemplary leading school providing 100% distance learning that students worldwide can join. Professor Knight has diverse research interests, covering a variety of topics within the fields of animal welfare and ethics, other than alternatives to invasive animal use within research and teaching. His recent projects have explored plant-based and alternative companion animal diets and the impacts of animal agriculture on climate change. His work on all animal issues has generated around 150 academic and 80 popular publications, along with a series of YouTube videos. He has delivered more than 170 presentations on animal welfare at universities and other conferences worldwide. With a commitment to serve the voiceless animals, he is a committed animal activist. He was the spokesperson for the Animal Welfare Party from 2007 to 2012. The party is represented in the United Kingdom's Parliament, allowing it to introduce the status of animals within politics. Furthermore, he served as an electoral candidate between 2014 and 2019 in four national and European elections. Through his adventure in veganism, Professor Knight has earned a Certified Veterinary Specialist in Animal Welfare in Europe, America, New Zealand and the United Kingdom. 
being a true animal advocate for their welfare and ethics with worldwide international standing and wide experiences. Professor Knight holds professional positions such as Professor of Animal Welfare and Ethics and Founding Director, Center for Animal Welfare, University of Winchester, European and RCV's Veterinary Specialist in Animal Welfare Science, Ethics and Law, American and New Zealand Veterinary Specialist in Animal Welfare, Fellow, Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons and Member, Australian and New Zealand College of Veterinary Scientists, Animal Welfare Chapter, Senior Fellow, UK Higher Education Academy. Professor Knight is the only veterinarian worldwide to hold all these qualifications. For his remarkable work as the pioneer of animal welfare and ethics, Professor Knight has been named Griffith Sciences 2020 Outstanding Alumnus. In fact, Professor Knight has been honored with 13 awards through his work toward animal welfare and his academic work. Here are just a few. The Society for Veterinary Medical Ethics Schumer Award, a University Values Award, the Humane Society Veterinary Medical Association Humane Achievement Award, the Inaugural World League for the Protection of Animals Award, University Student-Led Teaching Award, and so on. Professor Knight, a vegan since the age of 23, formed and founded the association called Extreme Vegan Sporting Association, which highlights the benefits and methodology of vegan fitness. Being the president of Animal Count, precursor of Animal Welfare Party, in 2009, his vegan team became the first all-vegan team to have competed in the UK's Three Peaks Challenge, traveling on foot for 40 kilometers, 24.8 miles by vehicles in between mountains for 724 kilometers, 450 miles, and climbing a total of 3,050 meters, 10,000 feet, over the peaks of the three highest mountains in Wales. The team completed the trail within 24 hours. In fact, uh, was to try and raise money for Animals Count, which is our political party for animals, to demonstrate that vegans can uh, achieve feats of fitness and have a lot of fun at the same time. But hopefully it overcomes some of the misperceptions about the vegan lifestyle. So we were fundraising to help support the election campaign of Animals Count. And that's the first time that a party for the animals has ever contested these elections here in the United Kingdom. So it's very historic, really. So you know, we're hoping to encourage all political parties to take animal issues more seriously, increase the uh, time that they give to trying to protect animals within Parliament by demonstrating that people will vote uh, on uh, for animals and, and on behalf of animal issues. So we thought that that was a, a worthy cause to, to fundraise for on this occasion. Currently, Professor Knight is actively involved with Vegan Runners UK, one of the fastest growing vegan groups in the United Kingdom. We gratefully salute the humble, humorous, and inspiring activist that is Professor Andrew Knight. To learn more about Professor Andrew Knight, please visit veggiepets.info, petfoodinnovation.info. Supreme Master Ching Hai joyfully presents the Shining World Compassion Award to Professor Andrew Knight, plus 10,000 US dollars as a humble token of supporting the research with all love and high salute for your precious work. May you enjoy continued success and constant protection by heaven. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for here's compassion and love toward here's precious children. Kind viewers, Thank you for your company for today's program. Please join us next week on Tuesday, May 25th for part 2 of our show. May peace and light shine on all your days. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. 
and suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com barre oblique VEG. Nuestros programmes ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com barre inclinada VEG. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com gạch chéo schedule và suprememastertv.com gạch chéo veg. Be veg, go green to save the planet.